Hi everybody, I'm Chantal. I'm Cody. And welcome to Unit 9, Lost to Sea. In this unit, we are basically talking about islands and why they are important is because of a term called the Exclusive Economic Zone, EEZ. Exclusive. Exclusive. The unit specifically also focuses on Japan um, and the Japanese territory is composed of around 7,000 islands. Right. So many. And yes, because there's so many, there is apparently a bit of a dispute going on about mm -hmm. a specific island. Compose. Compose. Dispute. Dispute. What comes to your mind when you hear the word island? Fiji. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, right. Specifically, why Fiji? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because the marketing and advertising uh, to get a lot of the American uh, consumers and people okay. to come to this very far region from America. Um, you know, I don't think of Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii is an island. But when I, I hear the word island, I think of either you know Fiji or. Uh, even all the way to uh, the Bahamas. Those oh, two in my head. Lovely. Lovely sunsets and uh, palm trees and beautiful sand nice. and clear water. That's what I imagine when I when I think of island. Same. I immediately go tropical island. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking I'm thinking more on the lines of closer to Africa, like Zanzibar, mm. or we have Mauritius. But it's always tropical. <laughs> Yeah, For yeah. For some reason. Right. I don't know why. I would agree. Americans do think of the tropical island. Yes. Yes. And speaking of America, does mm -hmm. your country have any islands around it? Uh, yes, actually. Most of them are in the Florida Keys. Yes. Uh, that's the closest islands to America. Um, now, Texas also has, they call islands. Mm. Uh, they're very small along the southern uh, area of mm. Texas, southeast area on the Gulf of Mexico. So they're just these um, little specks of islands all along. Speck. Speck. Right, but it, it perfectly is a line along the border. If oh. you zoom in, there is a little line of islands and there's water, like a harbor kind of, but yes. it's, it's just natural water and then it's the mainland. Um, so sometimes there's a bridge and you can drive up and down. Um, the area I visited a lot was called South Padre Island. Nice. The most beautiful beach for Texas, but it wasn't the most beautiful beach in America. Mm -hmm. Not by far, yeah. Um, but we have many far-flung islands uh, still under our kind of control or purview, I should say. Far-flung. Far-flung. South Africa does actually not have that many, mm -hmm. but we have one famous one, it's Robben Island. Oh, okay. Um, and people always talk about it or hear about it because it's where our president, ex-president Nelson Mandela was in prison. There was a, mm, yes, kind of like a political prisoner prison on Robben Island. Mm. So it's a historical landmark now. Yes. Yeah. So it's not a paradise island where you go for <laughs> holiday. Right. <laughs> so a serious island. <laughs> yeah. I guess I should say San Francisco has an island because Alcatraz. Oh, Alcatraz. Yeah, right. I always forget about that. It's so famous. Yes. Infamous. Infamous. That's what we'd say. Say. Yeah. Welcome to language focus. So first up is in the past period. For example, to save up for a new laptop, I've tried not to spend too much money in the past month. And for mine, it's nothing more than plus noun. And so for this example, I'm going to say I ordered a chicken Caesar salad, but it was nothing more than lettuce tomato. All right, guys, and then please join us at the review next.